Have you ever wanted to try hand sewing something, but you didn't know where to start? In this series, we'll show you what needle to use, what stitches are best for what, how to use a thimble, everything you need to know to hand sew. This is Hand Sewing 101. Today on Hand Sewing 101, we're going to talk about something that is very basic to hand sewing, but I bet you never thought about it before. It's posture. One of the things that bothers me the most when I sew, particularly when I sew at a machine, is I spent 10 years as a graphic designer at desks that weren't mine, so I have a shoulder injury from mousing strangely. And if I sew in a funny position, my shoulder will start acting up. And I worked with a chiropractor and a physical therapist for many years trying to fix myself. And it all came down to, well, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> which is the answer. The answer is have good posture when you do it in the first place. Now, when you're sitting at a sewing machine, you may or may not know, you're not supposed to sit at a seat that has armrests because if you rest your arms, you tend to lean into your elbows. And if you lean into your elbows, you could see how my shoulders are rounding and my, my chin's kind of coming down. And that's not a good position for you to sew in. So you take, if you have a seat, that you're sitting at your sewing machine and it has arms on it. Either resist the urge to put your arms down or a lot of times you can remove the arms from a chair, particularly, you know, one of these wheelie chairs. But what we're talking about here is hand sewing, not machine sewing. And there is a very, very good reason that this is called Taylor's Pose. Taylor's sit like this. Matter of fact, the muscle that runs from here, no, here, up the inside of your knee and out to the outside of your hip that allows you to do this is called sartorius, which means belonging to a tailor. So this is called tailor's pose, not just in yoga. This is called tailor's pose because this is how tailors sit when they do their work. Because where you should sew is where your hands fall and they fall down here. You shouldn't lean on your elbows. You shouldn't bend over. You shouldn't have your arms on a table. You should sew where your hands fall naturally. This is a very, very unstressful position. And you can sew all day if you have your hands in this position. There's no tension in elbows. There's no tension in your wrists. And it's not going to hurt you. I have bad wrists and bad elbows. I fell off a horse on this one. This one, I have golfer's elbow even though I don't play golf. <laughs> But sewing like this doesn't hurt me, and it won't hurt you either. Tailors have sewn like this literally for a thousand years. And in a tailor shop, and let me see if I can find a picture to slip into this video for you. In a traditional tailor shop, you will see tailors sitting like this on a table. And you think, oh, they're the apprentices doing some grunt work. No, they're the tailors sitting in tailor's position, tailoring. So the absolute best position for you to sit in when you're hand sewing is sit in tailor's pose. It's not hard. You don't have to have, you know, you don't have to do this or, or be in any kind of lotus position or anything like that. Just do what's comfortable. And basically what it does is it makes your spine straight and you don't bend over from the neck like you do when you're at a computer or a sewing machine or looking at your cell phone. And you also have your hands in a completely neutral position. So if you're having any problem with your sewing, if it's giving you any feelings of tension in your wrists and elbows, try Taylor's Pose. Try to remind yourself to put your hands where they fall naturally, where there's no tension whatsoever. And sometimes you can even get a little dog to come sit in your lap or not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening.